When BitQ reached out and asked if I wanted to try out the all-new Panda status bar, I said absolutely. So they sent one over, and today we're going to install it. Try to get me in a room, yeah. Everybody want to talk, why? I was coming with a tune, speed. They know I'm going to take it far, right? So what is the Panda status bar? The Panda status bar is an upgrade for your A1, P1P, P1S, or X1 carbon printers to give you the same functionality as the H2D. It's a seamless plug and play option that works for multiple printers and gives you the ability to just at a glance, see what's going on with your printer. So it comes with everything you need, except for one small item. You'll need to print the case that goes with this. And the files are found on their Maker World profile, which I'll link below. Now, one thing I do want to include here is that I didn't love their install directions. There's a lot of things I would change and I did change and did differently. So you can use this as a guideline on how to install it. This is just the way I chose to do it. It doesn't mean that it's the right or only way, but it is the way that I chose to do it. I just felt like it was a cleaner look and overall worked great. So first things first, let's go print the case. Now you can find this case on the Maker World profile for BitQ, uh, Big Tree Tech, same thing. Now this case took about 30 minutes to print, super straightforward, super simple. I chose to print mine in just PLA from New Makers um, and everything seemed to fit really good. It's very dimensionally accurate and uh, everything fit perfect and it looks great. All the cutouts are in the right spots, everything looks lined up and the spring works great. So here's my plan of attack. We're gonna mount the circuit board back here where it belongs. We're gonna run the cable down the channel and we're gonna bring it out through the back here by the Z screw along the bed, and then we're gonna place the panda bar right where it belongs. Unfortunately, there's not a great way to get the camera view in here while I'm installing the wiring, so I'm gonna skip over most of that. Again, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to mount the uh, small box back here in the corner, just like this, and it just press fits into place, and then just follow your wiring along from your print head, follow it down the channel, and you'll have to fiddle a little bit to get the wiring to come out where you want, but, I think it's best if we run it behind the Z lead screw, mount it to the lower part of the bed so that it has some free range of motion and uh, we'll just kind of run the rest of the wires where they need to go. You have this type C connector on this side which supplies power. We're gonna follow this all the way around the chassis of the printer and there is a hidden USB plug right back here behind the screen. Let me move around here quickly and I'll give you guys a kind of an overview of where we are. So it plugs in right here, right behind this little panel and all we're gonna do is tape the wire where it needs to be and kind of keep it out of the way. So here's a little cleaner view of how I chose to mount the wiring underneath the bed. And as you can see, I just followed along the main part of the chassis, made sure to tape everything um, in place so that the wiring isn't getting caught up on anything. And I did add one zip tie to the main wire harness in the back to keep everything in place. It is very important to make sure you clean underneath where the bar is going to be located because the only thing holding it in place is gonna be the double-sided tape. So it's very important to take the rubbing alcohol pad, clean the surface very well underneath and in the front, and make sure to dry it off with the drying towel that they give you with the kit. Then once you've done that, the only thing left to do is to actually mount the bar in place. And uh, really it's pretty straightforward. Now one important note with this entire install is in their directions, they say just to run the cord down the back. I chose to do it differently just because I didn't like the look of the cord hanging all over the place and the black tape. Uh, it's just a personal preference. I'm kind of picky when it comes to stuff like that. So I just chose to run it a different way. There's probably a million different ways to do this. It's just the way I chose to do it. Again, you're just going to peel the sticky tape off of the uh, actual status bar itself. This stuff holds really well as long as your surface is nice, clean, and dry. Um, and again, this really is going to line up. It's uh, pretty straightforward. The uh, bar only mounts in one location and it actually has two channels on each side that are curved to fit the bed perfectly. Uh, you can kind of readjust a little bit, but once you put pressure on this and it has some time to sit, uh, this isn't gonna be easy to take off. So just make sure you press it into place well and uh, just kind of adjust it, run your finger over it, and you're done. So is the Panda Bar for everybody? Maybe not, but for me, I love the functionality. I love being able to customize the colors to anything I want, and I really love the ease of use. You just download the app or you can do it direct from your PC, but you can customize the colors to do anything you want. So you know when there's a file loading, you know the status of your print, and the bar actually lights up along that whole entire line as the print's going along. So you can glance over your shoulder and know that you're 50% of the way done. 
or 100% of the way done. Or you know if there's an error. It is, however, a simple and functional upgrade for the Bamboo Lab A1, P1P, P1S, and X1 Carbon printers to give just a little bit more functionality to what I consider already really great printers. And that's how you install the BIQ Panda Status Bar on your Bamboo Lab printer. If you like reviews, how-tos, install videos, and so much more, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm on all other platforms, and I also have a Patreon. Love you. Okay, bye.